Hi everyone and welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In this video, I wanna talk about how to generate a certificate signing request for an SSL certificate. So if you've followed us here at Name Hero for any amount of time, you probably know that SSL is free and automatic on all of our web hosting accounts and packages. So our basic hosting, our reseller hosting, VPS and cloud dedicated, they all come with an auto SSL module. That means all of your domains and subdomains and customers domains, if you're a reseller and subdomains are all covered by SSL. Now we just recently introduced an option to purchase a premium SSL certificate. And this is from Global Sign and it's a domain validated certificate as we've been getting a couple requests from people that especially are doing e-commerce you know for whatever reason they don't want to have let's encrypt on their certificate um, they don't want a free certificate they want a more of a, a premium certificate and so in this video I want to show you how to generate the certificate signing requests that we would need to be able to generate that for you um, as likewise too if you want to buy an extended validation or an, another type of SSL certificate from someone else then you would also need this so I think you'll find this beneficial and regardless of, of where you are on the SSL spectrum. But again, if you want to use the free and automatic SSL, then you don't have to do anything. It just works. As, as soon as your domain uh, propagates from the DNS, you're all set. But again, if you do want a premium SSL certificate or if you've purchased that additional add-on, um, then you'll need to provide this to us. So what I want to do is log into my account here at Name Hero, and feel free if you're following along to do the same. So I'm just going to go to account and log in. <clears throat> Got my demo account here. And it's gonna take us to the client area. Okay, so once inside, what I need to do is go to my control panel, my C panel, for the domain that I need the SSL certificate. So I'm gonna go here to Cloud Web Hosting and I'm gonna use a starter cloud um, as an example. Now, if you're a reseller and you're doing this for your customer, you can log into their cPanel and do it, um, but it, as long as it's in the cPanel of the domain that you're wanting to get their certificate for, um, that's completely appropriate. So I can go down here, it's log into cPanel, or I can log in here. You also have this in your welcome email. All right, and once, <coughs> once I am in cPanel, excuse me, I just type in SSL at the top and you'll see under security, I get a couple options. So one, you can verify the free SSL by seeing here, as you can see the green locks. Um, and this verifies that, you know, Let's Encrypt is on the domain and it's all good. But if you do want that premium SSL, then you need to generate this. So under SSL slash TSL or slash TLS, so right here, the first option, we click that and you can see some information here, your private keys, your certificate signing request, your certificates, and also you can install certificates manually here. But the certificate signing request, this is what we're talking about inside this video. So I just need to click generate. All right, now once I generate it, it's gonna be stored here in case you lose it or you, know, you copy it to your clipboard and accidentally delete it. Um, it will be stored in here on the account. And so that's why I said it's important to generate this inside of the cPanel for that domain. All right, so now if we go down here, first is key. You know, what, what, what's the type of key that you want for it? Um, you can use one that's already generated. Um, actually, I don't recommend using one that's already generated. I recommend doing a new one. So you can see these here um, are most likely from the Let's Encrypt. So I just wanna generate a new one. Next is you wanna enter the domain. So this is gonna be the, the full domain that you want SSL coverage on. So if you're using like www in front of your domain, that's actually part of it, it's gotta go in there. So if I was gonna do one for key diets and I wanted the www, I would do it like this. All right, oh, I'm sorry, I need to use the domain that I'm using. It has to be in the cPanel account, you'll get the error. Um, so I'm using www.kcmowax.com. Now, if I'm not using www, when I go to my site, then I don't wanna use that. Okay, so I hope that makes sense that, you know, if, when you go to your site, if you're using www in front of it, you need to put it on here because the way SSL certificates work is that's considered two different domains. So if this is the one you want, this is how you format it. And of course, if you don't, you would just delete it. All right, so now we go down here and you have to enter the city. So this is gonna be whatever the contact information is for the person that wants it or the business that wants the certificate. And as I said, most often, um, the reason why we added an add-on for premium SSL certificates was mostly for businesses that are doing e-commerce. So this should be the city of your business or wherever it's registered. So for me, I would put Kansas City. 
and you want to put the state and it says you it's state or province so i'm going to use missouri and you do not use abbreviations you know i wouldn't put mo i'd put the whole state in there country i select this and of course i'm in us so i'm going to do us down here at the bottom i wish they'd put it up top us all right, now the company. So this is going to be the legally registered name for the business. Uh, if your company name includes symbols or other period than a comma, check your, your certificate authority to make sure they can accept it. So if you have a period or comma, that's fine. Um, if you do not have a registered company, then you need to put whatever the individual name is that's in charge of the business um, because this is it's important for the SSL certificate authority. So ours here would be Name Hero LLC, and commas and periods are accepted in here, but no other special characters. Um, company division. So this is optional, but this can also be a requirement depending on where you're getting the certificate from. If you're getting it from us, um, I would just put the domain in it, you know, something like this, or you could just use the company name again. And once again, it only accepts a period or a comma. Okay, this is for email verification. So once you once we set up the certificate, there might be a, or your certificate authority, there might be a verification email needed to be sent. Um, so this should be valid, but it should be on the domain that you're getting the certificate for. So I did KCMO Wax, so I'd want to do something like admin at KCMO Wax. Dot com and you want to make sure this is valid this is very important because you need to be able to be contacted through that so it's got to be a valid one on the domain all right passphrase so it says some certificate authorities may require the csr to have a passphrase um, and this is just to identify that the key is your key so this should be it doesn't have to be extremely um extremely hard to guess and stuff um, because it's not an encrypted password. So it says don't use an important one. So when I'm generating these, I don't like to use a passphrase or password that I use anywhere else. I mean, certainly don't use your cPanel password. You know, you can just kind of make one up, but no, make note of whatever you do use. So um, I would just do something like KCMO wax one, two, three. And again, make note of this, but don't use, uh, you know, one that's important, especially not your cPanel. Um, description. So this is just so you can keep track of what this is for. So if I ordered, if I'm doing this to order a premium certificate through Name Hero, I would do premium SSL www.kcmowax.com and then generate. All right, so now here I have it. So this bad boy is what I need to send off. So if I'm if I'm ordering this through Name Hero, if I ordered the add-on, and let me show you where that is just so you can see. <clears throat> when you're ordering a hosting account or a reseller account, now you've got the option let me just enter a domain here. Down here. So SSL certificates. You can see Let's Encrypt, free and automatic, um, and that's 100% free. But if you want to have the ability to get a global sign DV SSL, you can click this. And so if you've selected this option, this is how you would go about getting this SSL certificate. Now, if you're a reseller and you've purchased this option, you can get multiple global sign certificates. But for each one, we need this CSR. So right here is what you need, and you would copy it. And so if you got this through Name Hero, if you're wanting to get the SSL through Name Hero, you would then go back to your client area, support, tickets, open a ticket, and go to billing, select your service. Let's see, I've got a bunch of testers here. Let's see, Casey Mowax, and And you can do something like this. All right, and then you can use this um, button right here. I think that's, yeah, this is a code button and paste it in here. There. Or you can also attach this as a um, PDF file if that's easier for you. You know, if you want to put it in, in Word or text document and export it to PDF, you can do that. Um, I like just to paste here with the, this um, code button here because it'll paste it all in there nicely. So once you do that, you would just click Submit. And then our team has all they need from you to get that premium SSL certificate generated and installed. So it's it's pretty simple to do, but it, it's just something that's got to be done. And again, you just have to enter some a couple fields and it generates for you inside a cPanel. Now, if I go back to here, you can see I've got it in here. 
So if you ever need to go back to it, you can always go to edit and you'll see it again. And of course you can delete it if you don't need it. But you might, you need to hang on to this. Um, you'll keep it in the cPanel once you do generate it in case it's needed again, um, because it is bound to that certificate. So say, you know, down the road, you need that certificate reissued. You can always use a CSR to do so. But if you delete it, then you would not have it. Um, that's all there is to it. And again, this is for our premium SSL, not Let's Encrypt, not the free and auto, as well as if you're buying an SSL certificate from somewhere else, because of course we don't, you know, hold you hostage. You can do what you want. If you want to buy an SSL from somewhere else, you can. Um, and so you would use a CSR for that as well. So it would work. Um, it works with other providers, not just Name Hero. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, not a lot to this video, pretty simple, but I know we were starting to get some requests. And so I felt like it would be just as easy to hop in here on YouTube and I'm going to put a post on our blog um, just so it's easy to find and we can make this, um, you know, it is simple. So I just want to show it step by step. So again, if you have any questions, comment on the video below. Let me know. Um, regardless, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to tune and up to news with all the latest sales and deals and information and training here at namehero.com.